This is me, and then this is my friend Addison, who's also a Curl Kids ambassador. I met her when I was two, and she was in hospital in the room next to me. Yeah, and then she also made this for my birthday. Aww. Thirteen reasons why I love you. One, you're brave. Two, you're an amazing friend. Three, you're funny. Four, you're kind. Five, you're caring. Six, you rock an NG2 better than me. Seven, you're confident. Eight, you're a great TikToker. Nine, you helped me convince mum to let me stay all day with you and your fam. Ten, you got me out of bed in the hospital because I wanted to play with you. Eleven, you're cheeky. Twelve, you hit the sausages out of my hand. So I was doing a dance and then she was holding a sausage in her hand and I whacked her hand and it flung behind her. And then 13, we always have fun together. I love you. I'm Eva Mitchell and I lived in Starship Hospital for six and a half years. I'm also a Kill Kids ambassador. I have two other siblings. One's Cooper, he's four years old. And then I have an older sister called Mila, who's 14, almost 15. So when my mum was 20 weeks pregnant with me, she found out that I was going to be born with a hole in my diaphragm. And then when I was born, I was in hospital every single day from the minute I was born. So I was born with a diaphragmatic hernia and then I got gastrointestinal failure. That means my stomach and bowel don't work. And that is why I've got a bag for my bowel, which is also an ileostomy. And then I contracted MRSA and that is a super bug that Susie Wiles is trying to find more antibiotics for. Having Susie in my life brings me a lot of hope when things are really tough. She's been involved with all the COVID stuff. And so I, she was getting a hard time in the media, so I texted her to say that she could get through it because that's what she tells me. This is Manky. Oh, he yeah. has been to every surgery and every hospital stay with me. How many surgeries is that? I don't know. Probably at least over 100. I used to have a Mickey button instead of a feeding tube and that used to be in my stomach. But it kept getting infected and it would fall out and things. Then I had a heart line and it used to feed me into my bloodstream but then I used to end up in the hospital with infections all the time from it so they had to pull that out. And now I've got a feeding tube and an ileostomy. When I go to school, I this was even before COVID happened. Um, before a subject happens, I normally wipe down my desk and then I have my mask on, hand sanitize my hands and then I wear my mask all day, <laughs> apart from when I'm eating because that's a bit difficult. How often do you Every hour, yeah. So I only drink water and I have my whole life. <laughs> I just don't like any other drink, just water. So whenever we go into hospital, we always take bottled water because when we're living there, there's this big infection in the water taps and then they got taken away. And then ever since then, we've just drunk water from bottles when we've been in there. And that's why we are very thankful for one pure drink bottles. And this is a hand wash. And then that's me creeping into a little flower white house. When people help kill kids, they're helping to give hope that things will get easier for all of the kill kids and